Got packs loaded up. Loaded down. Stone Glacier. thing packed up so um, from actually elk hunting the last day of elk season up here but um, wanted before I tore it down getting ready for scouting for sheds and doing some shed hunting I wanted to kind of do a little review on this pack that I've used this year and uh, yeah so it's the Stone Glacier 5900 um, it's what I ran all um, this last hunting season uh, worked great, good for me I really liked it I coming from an Everly stock it was a huge step up so yeah, let's just go through it. This is packed down pretty small right now because it was just day hunting. So I'll just kind of empty it out, show you what I had. Uh, rain fly up there because it was um, windy and we get some snow but uh, that's always good to have. Uh, that was just in the lid. I ran it mostly with the lid. I, I like the lid but uh, anyways right here on this front pocket you'll see this is where I keep my spotter. So here's my Vortex razor, 85 millimeter, fits in there perfect. Still have these swing out pockets which are super handy. Like this one's got tags, first aid kit, um, extra like water filter. And here I got all my stuff for my phone scope, my camera attachments, an extra light, chargers. And that goes all in that swing pocket which makes it super handy. Uh, just, you know, a cheap glassing pad there that I like to strap into that. Um, then, we have this big horseshoe zipper in the front. It goes across the whole bag, which was kind of handy. And that flips out all the way. And here's a rifle cover. We got my outdoor edge knife game bags and then this is the cool thing I like here here's the what I did is I have one of the camp pockets swing pockets and then um, a bladder water bladder pocket I like running a water bladder even if I mean in the winter months it gets hard because it freeze on you but uh, I personally like running a bladder over Nalgene because Nalgene's are just heavy um, and we got striking poles you can strap the gun uh, holster onto there I just run it on the top strap there on the hip belt. So to the top here extends out all these straps here on the side. They're really handy to get this if you were wanting to. You could really blow this thing up all the way out. But uh, I mean this thing fits a lot more and it's super light which is what I really like about it. I have the X-curve frame. Um, the one thing I was worried about I was when I was shopping for packs was this um, uh, lumbar pad. And this lumbar pad is small. You can get little sleeves to slide into there to make it bulkier if you want. But uh, it worked great for me, even with heavy loads. Um, and when it comes down to it, when you're hauling meat, it's going to be heavy regardless. But uh, yeah, then just trekking poles here. And the snow things on them. And one thing, one feature I'd like to show you guys is these um, auto lock buckles. They don't come with the pack, but auto lock buckles <clears throat> are pretty handy. Um, like on this side, I like to strap my rifle or tripod, you know, trekking poles, whatever it may be. And uh, they are handy, they won't slip on you. But I did find that these buckles, um, they don't come out, you can't slip it out. But I found that they are handy 
in certain places at certain times. Found is like not just packing a couple, like I have extra ones in my game bag, it's in my kill kit, but um, for strapping stuff that's gonna stretch out, say you have your head on here and it's sliding off the nose and you have that buckle there. So I like to use the auto lock buckle for the buckle that goes across the nose on an animal. Uh, yeah, we used this pack to pack out this guy this year. Um, but anyways, yeah, it's been a really good pack for me. For one here, this is a hip belt um, pocket. It's the large. And this one is really nice for my inReach. I think I also have a headlamp, stuff I can reach easy. I really need to get to. Oh, and we got an extra clip here. So, yeah, that one I really liked. I, and I don't like having another side because I got my pistol there. So, that's the Stone Glacier 5900 for you. It has been handy for me. One thing I found super appealing for me as a avid shed hunter is all of the straps. Like, you can never get enough straps when you're shed hunting. Because, I mean, you get it on a good day hit a bone zone, you want as many straps as you can, but I'm excited to throw some elk sheds, deer sheds, everything on here. Should work really nice, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to try it out for shed season, so yeah. So taking this pack down for the meat shelf, first step to do is unclip all the side buckles, loosen off the bottom strap here. You're also gonna wanna loosen just everything off. Loosen everything off here on the bottom, then I'll go to the other side, undo these two, undo the bottom, loosen that up, then there is a strap on the inside here, and it holds the pack to the frame there, right here, and you're going to loosen that off, I'll take it all the way out, and you're going to do that on both sides, there's one on each side. So you're gonna come into here. It's like right on the side of the pack, down in there. You can see. You're gonna pull that thing all the way out. Then loosen off the load lifters on your straps. Because you'll get some new straps you'll attach the straps to, the shoulder straps to. So then once that's off, sometimes you gotta just Slip this baby over the lid, then you have this exposed. And all you gotta do is pull those off each side of the frame. And now this will open up. A lot of times this you have your flag opens up all the way out to your meat shelf. And your meat shelf is gonna be right here. You have these straps that you can loosen off. Once you get that out, you can come these, put these babies out, put your meat there in the meat shelf, strap that up high, put whatever you need to on the inside of that. I really like the material this is made of. It makes it super easy um, to power wash, get clean, um, and then once you have all your stuff down, Load it back up the same way, put those straps on, and tighten everything down, and you're ready to pack some meat off of Probably my only criticism on this pack, particularly, is the straps, the um, shoulder straps. I feel like they could have beefed those up a little bit, because um, uh, I, I just found them to be pretty thin. Um, but other than that, everything works pretty well. You can see you can run your bladder through the hole there. Um, they actually have lids that have hydro bladder lids um, uh, that you can use, but uh, there's just a lot of attachments. And that's kind of what, how it is with all these um, uh, packs, and you know you can throw a different bag on this frame. Ex ex you know you can go all, all out on it, but this one works great for all the things I do. Pack works great for me on day trips just out because it's light enough and it compresses down small enough that. Um, it's perfect for a day pack, perfect for backpacking because you can really extend this thing out for probably those you know three to five day backpacking trips. Um, that's definitely uh, where it's really nice. So yeah, yeah, no, these hats we are making more of these. Um, 
We're going to get a couple different colors if anybody's interested. DM us on Instagram. Um, we do have an Instagram. It's rmw at uh, underscore Montana. So check that out. I'll put a little deal in the description. And please like, share, subscribe. Um, and uh, do it the Rocky Mountain way.